Hello everybody, this is Luckless Lovelox bringing you some more Techno Babylon. I'm very anxious to see what's happened with Regis, so let's uh, continue on the game. Let's check out the terminal first. Centralized Emergency Logistics. Oh, okay, that's what cell stands for. Uh, power? So this is the first time we've controlled Lao, so this should be interesting. Because uh, we still don't know that much about her. So we've got a email from Galatia, Vargas Galatia. But the case file. As authorized by City Systems Administrator Dr. Eduardo Vargas, please find access to the investigation's case files enclosed. You should discuss the case in person with the administrator. Please make an appointment beforehand. Okay, let's take a look at that. This is the Baxter case. Ow! Hey, what was that? Okay. This is something from Regis. It says Max Lau. No attachments. Maybe this is the message that uh, Regis sent. We heard him record. Okay, and there's one from Central CSO about the mind jackings. Dr. Lau, thank you for the summary of the so-called mind jacking investigations. It is evident that some of Dr. Regis's talent in investigation has found its way into your work. But please be aware that you need not also emulate his less helpful behavioral patterns. Fair enough. Edward Lau. Please come home. Max, doesn't matter what Mom said. I don't really understand why you did it either, but I'm not going to judge you. I miss you, and they won't admit it, but Mom and Dad too. Please come home, Max. That city, that life, it'll change you. From Eddie. Must be a brother. So I guess, um, Lau's parents didn't support her, uh, sex change. Okay. What else do we have? Social emergency logistics case file. Category class four information larceny with composite harm to health of individual targets. This is the mind jacking case. I'm pretty sure. I'm just uh, skimming through this to see if there's anything different. Yeah, nothing different. Oops. So this is the homicide, breaking and entering, abuse of public office. This must be the Regis case. On 11 July 2087, Dr. Adam Baxter was found dead by co-workers at the Vickerman Tatsumoto Telepresence Laboratory in the Northeast Network. Cell has been contacted and case officer Lau activated for investigation. So we've got, obviously, Baxter is the victim. Former organic computing researcher for City of Newton recently paroled for a rehabilitation sentence. From rehabilitation sentence. Suspects, Dr. Regis, Dr. C. Regis. Thus, Viksha Regis, victim of murder by Dr. Baxter, was detected entering laboratories on 10th July 2087 and leaving 128 minutes later. Okay. Action. Suspect Charles Regis has been unreachable and historically demonstrated a high anti-civil behavior index. Such a strong motive, his apprehension for questioning is a priority. So we need to uh, investigate the crime scene and Vickerman Pharmaceuticals. Great. Uh, let's see if we can call him. Doubt he'll answer. No answer. And let's see, we've got some wetware, jolt gun, and traveler. Please file. Any news? Cell firefighters. It's a Grey Goo incident. Interest four. Cell firefighters have this afternoon been called to the Hartgill Preparatory School, where the out of control growth of a wetware culture has resulted in what is euphemistically termed Grey Goo. Uh, Principal Andrew Matembe issued a statement on behalf of the school expressing relief that Cell has been able to control the outbreak before more damage could be done, and reiterated 
their policy against bringing wetware into the school. Wetware, so-called due to its gelatinous appearance, is the genericized term for a number of nanomechanical products derived from organic structures. Safeguards are in place in commercial wetware to ensure that replication of the material can only occur within secure factory conditions. Hobbyist engineers have, on many occasions, taken it as a challenge to breach new wetware products and reactivate the material's ability to recreate more of itself. Such uncontrolled growth becomes dangerous when wetware no longer responds to chemical signals to cease its reproduction. It is believed that tampering with the recre recreational product was the catalyst for today's incident. While school has been closed for repairs and decontamination, Cell has reported that four students have received only minor injuries and are being treated for burns and contamination. City Coordinator Al, S Al Central <laughs> AI Central has stated I'm gonna call I'm gonna call Central Al from now on, I think. Has stated that the mass has been deactivated and poses no further threat to lives or property within Newton. How's the weather looking? day and a night for staying indoors right okay check out Regis's sorry Regis desk. yeah I mean we're investigating him right a physical photograph the team February 2067 oh uh, Nino Adam Eduardo Gwen Ficky Charlie that's Baxter, right? Regis is probably the only person I know who'd want his picture on paper. I guess defacing a digital one just isn't the same. <laughs> that it? All right, let's check out the crime scene. Vickerman Pharmaceutical Laboratories. Laboratories. Where you want to wow, pronounce it? That's a lot of green. Excuse me. Great, they finally sent someone. You here to get the body out? Uh, maybe. I'm Max Lau, cell case specialist. No kidding. I'm the lab director, Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. Awesome name. What's your role here? I'm the supervisor for the Telepresence Factoring Labs. Most of it's automatic. I just make sure it's all running like it should. Sounds like a big responsibility. <laughs> it's a lousy job most of the time. TP is where management sticks people they don't want in public-facing roles. You're not happy with it? For the last few years, my career has been one disaster after another. I'm just glad it's plateaued into some kind of stability. Okay, what happened here? Can you tell me what happened? Baxter got killed. In any more detail. <laughs> when we started this afternoon, a whole lot of samples had been tampered with. We tried to call Baxter to find out what the hell was going on in the specimen bank. And he didn't answer. He didn't. Turned out the door to the specimen bank was locked too. You haven't seen the body? No, not in person, if that's what you mean. We got the camera feed online, but it was obvious that Baxter wasn't going to be coming out. When did you last see him? Guess it could have been Wednesday. So he could have been killed any time in the past three days? Hmm, I guess, but it wouldn't fit with everything else. Okay. What's the purpose of this lab? Plant studies? Yes and no. It's a TP lab. Telepresence. There's a lot of research that's not exactly legal in some countries. Okay. But in Newton, pretty much anything goes. Exactly. If someone in the EU needs research done on something hazardous, infectious, or endangered, they send the orders here and we carry out the testing. What sort of research? Mostly we make new angiosperms from scratch. That's flowering plants to you. Gee, thanks. Why would people want new flowers? Sometimes it's a drug delivery method. The earliest commercial examples were fruit that grew packed with insulin. A lot of new wetware begins its life as engineered fruit too must be awkward if they cross-pollinate in the wild. And a legal headache. Part of our job is making sure the copy protection works. 
coffee protection and plants? Ouch. Such a weird world. But not hard to imagine. Aside from yourself, who else works in this laboratory? There's my intern, Martin Meester. Operates the factoring line. If you meet him, it's easy to see why they put him in here. And until recently, there was Dr. Baxter. It's the three. Tell me about Mr. Neister. He came over from Eurofed on a study program. He's, well, he's young. I guess we're all like that in our youth. Good colleague? He's all right. He got on board with that annoying maladist trend. He knows how to follow instructions, so I let him get on with it. His visa still active? Dr. Lau, we do not employ undocumented illegals in this lab. Just have to check. I'm sure you understand. What's the maladist movement? I don't remember hearing about that before. Tell me about Dr. Baxter. Oh, he was bad enough to work with in the 60s. <laughs> As part of his parole, they stuck a governor in his head. Since then, it's like talking to a badly written synthetic. You don't care for him a great deal. That man killed Vicky. Frankly, he deserved what he got. But you still work with him. He worked for me. It was another part of his parole. Vickerman's management persuaded centralized government that his skills were going to waste in prison. The company wanted him supervised by someone who knew him. Hence, they dragged my sorry ass in. What did you have him doing? He organized the specimen bank. It's the kind of thing we could just leave him at for hours on end. Days, sometimes. Really, it could have just been done by the facility's AI, but I had to give him something. Otherwise, you'd have to talk to him? Exactly. So, it sounds like this thing's really affected his mind as well. If not just his behavior. You've got a keen mind. What's your take on this? Hey, I'm not the detective, young lady. You know what I think? I think Regis did what they ought to have done 20 years ago. Why do you say that? Seems logical. We've got him coming into the labs on security, then we got him coming out an hour later. When we get here, we've got Baxter's corpse contaminating the specimen bank. Anything else? Well... Something strange. Since we got in, we keep finding samples that have been tampered with. Looks like he spent his hour here messing up the genomes of our specimens. That quickly? If anyone was good enough to do it that fast, it'd be Charlie. Right, so they worked together before, I'm pretty sure. You knew Regis as well? Yeah, I was on a research team with him and his wife back in the 60s. Baxter, it's our, too. You've apparently known him a long picture. time. Does this seem like something Regis would do? Oh, after what he did to Vicky, I'd have strangled Baxter too. I tell you, if he did do it, I wouldn't blame him one bit. Do you think he did it though? I don't know. He was always kind of shady. Tell me about it. They made him do some real awful stuff out in the hot zones. Such as? Let's just say his escape led to a whole lot of people being jailed for war crimes. You seem preoccupied. That obvious, huh? We found a couple of specimens that Regis tampered with in his hour here. So I gotta run through the catalog and dig out the backups. Sounds straightforward. Not when there's 11,000 samples to take. Damn. Oh, I could punch Regis for this. <laughs> Though, I want to shake his hand for Baxter so it kinda evens out. What's been done to the samples? He's used a customized viral vector to add huge amounts of junk DNA to their genomes. Why would he do that? These are the last two I found. Medioflorens interensis and Linacea lawsonis. May I have a look? Do you think it'll help? Just a hunch. Huh. Non-binary. Quaternary data string? What do you mean? My wetware systems are interpreting the genomes of these plants as sections of an audio file. Yeah, I was gonna He's say. He's used the DNA to store information. Oh, you think so? It's incomplete. The two samples only make up a third of the data. But M and L, my initials. This can't be a coincidence. He's left a message. What does it say? Not sure yet. I could probably construct the whole message if I can find where he's hidden the rest of it. Safe to say it's in the other plants he's engineered. Here, take this. You can sample DNA from the plants around the lab. If you run out of sampling cartridges, you can reload it at this console. Thanks. How long would it take to sample everything in the lab? Oh, <laughs> only a couple of years. We have over 11,000 subjects. You're better off looking for specimens that would fill the gaps in the clue he left. Hmm. 
So you worked with Regis and his wife, as well as Baxter. Did you also work for Dr. Vargas? That pompous ass? Yeah, yeah I worked for him. You don't care for him? He was a competent researcher, but he lives for politics. Everything was always about making the world a better place. And you don't think it should be better? It's a nice idea, just not realistic. And what we ended up making, it was actually never mind. Um, let's find out more about the bank. What happens in the specimen bank? It's where the samples of plants and growth matrices are stored. There's a huge library of subjects to work with, natural and man-made. And that's where Baxter worked? Yeah, it's not exactly taxing. I wanted to see what he could do since they put a governor in him. You left him to work alone in there? I'll be honest, he was not a pleasant man to talk to. I mean, what's she gonna have to say about this? Might as well try. I wonder why Regis hid a message inside the DNA of these plants. DNA's been used as a data storage medium before. Rather than on-off binary, DNA would be quaternary bits. Adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. If he just left a message on one of the systems, though, or even on paper... Then someone could have destroyed or erased it. Short of burning down the entire lab, they'd have no way to be sure they destroyed a message hidden like this. Especially since he scrambled so many of the other samples as camouflage. He needs to make sure it's found. And based on the layout, he wants me to find it. Huh. Why didn't the facility CI detect Baxter's vitals suddenly failing? It's a potentially hazardous environment in here. We were wondering that as well. This afternoon we noticed the monitoring system in the sample lab was in recursion. All hell broke loose when the CI suddenly realized what had happened. So either you've got a technical fault with the software or wetware interfacing. Which is unlikely given how much they cost. Or someone... That gives me more hope! Regis would have no idea how to do that. Right. Uh, sorry, I accidentally skipped part of the dialogue, but what she's getting at, driving at, is that Regis is kind of a technophobe. So, someone must have been helping him. Probably the person that was blackmailing him. Which I think is central. That's my, that's my theory. What sort of research were you conducting in the 60s? You mean with Charlie and his wife? You might not believe it, but we were the people behind Central. Central? The city governing AI Central? The same. Newton was looking for a coordinator AI. Vargas put together a team, including the new Mr. and Mrs. Oh, Regis. Oh, wow. You me. Regis never mentioned anything about this. It wasn't a happy memory for him. He left after the unpleasantness. We finished the project a few months later. Huh. Might explain why he hates Central's guts. <laughs> uh... Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab, and... And? Hmm. I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had blue flowers, spiny, toxic leaves, and produced large, round fruit. Okay. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. I'm just gonna ch lower the uh, music volume a bit. Kind of overpowering the text. Okay, so we've got this DNA sampler, we've got the genome data. Uh, I better not. If I start taking every single specimen, I'll be here for days. Gene sequencer. This thing. Drone lays finally controlled mist over finely controlled mist over the delicate specimens. Better not. It Let's take a look at the gene sequencer. Okay, so we need four more samples. This must be the message that Reach is recording. I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any. Blue plants. I better not. If I start taking. Airlock. I better not. If <laughs> I start. Cool. Okay, let's check out the lab. Here's an Easter. 
Hi there. I can't not promise to avoid not doing that thing I don't do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. I hear taxi drivers make the best coffee. What? You're not making any sense. And so the evil regularly laughed at deadly hair. Are you alright? And so the evil regularly laughed at deadly hair. I heard you the first time. <laughs> Can I get your name? The light at the end of the tunnel would die for a grapefruit. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna get nonsensical answers to all this stuff, but let's just, you know, let's hear what he says. What's your role at this facility? Tomorrow, says so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello. What does yesterday say? What happened here? An evil engine of desire wrapped within a rude message. I see. Thanks for your I help, citizen. Up. Only one parrot quietly spat on the electric chair. I can't figure out what any of these tools are for. I've taken a DNA sample from it. Oh, uh, okay. I never thought engineering would be so industrial. It's like a factory line. When do you offer a mechanical holiday? All right, all right. I won't touch them. <laughs> Seed bank, yellow blooms. Uh, okay. I don't know. There's, there's, so there's a color aspect I'm to this, right? A DNA sample. Red, yellow. Blue. I don't know. Let's, let's just try something out. Try something out randomly. DNA. Uh, I kind of didn't absorb what she said. Not gonna lie. About one of the samples. Just Excuse ask her again. me. Make it. Oh, I yeah. tried talking <laughs> to your intern. It There's wasn't helpful. Oh, never mind that. He's got aphasia. Isn't that treatable? Oh yes. He just gave it to himself. It's what the kids are into these days. Crippling neurological disorders? Yes and no. Maladism, they call it. They give themselves old diseases. It only lasts about a week each time. And you let him do that. Mm, he's not public facing, and as long as it doesn't get in the way of his work. I figure we all did things the old folks thought were stupid back when we were kids. I could I could totally see that happening. I need to ask Neister about the tampered specimens. How do I cure his aphasia? Well, you wouldn't really cure it. He doesn't actually have the disease. It's essentially wetware designed to occupy the Wernicke and Broca regions of the brain. This then produces the symptoms of the disease. That's what they're going for. I can't wait a week for the wetware to break down. Find a way to break it down early then. If we've got an emergency contamination, we use hydroxypyruvate isomerase. It's oh, an enzyme that instructs the fabricators in wetware to disassemble themselves. Have you found anything else with As a matter, there was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth and. Hmm. I can't remember. I do remember that it had blue spiny tox and produced law. Okay. Is that all? For now. Then if you. Let's just see what happens. When I use this. Yeah. Oh, I. Okay. I've, I've already figured out what to do here. So, if we look at plants that he's picked. This is the. Uh. The left one starts with M, the right one starts with L. So it's probably going to be Max Lau. So something starts with A and X, and then AO. I'm going to need to. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Looks like we just did. Looks like. Re yeah, so. 
It's not gonna help just grabbing random stiff, although. Red flower tree. Blue plants. Okay. Um. Let's just check out the seed bank. Okay, here's. Oh, God. What a mess. The murder scene. Rail drone? It's a drone that runs back and forth on rails. Must be what they use to store and retrieve samples in here. Appropriately named. Seed bank console. Wow. Undergoing weaponization, specifically targeting pollinating insects. Okay, so there's lots of A starting. There's lots of A starting samples. There's only one X. And any ones to start with O? Okay, well, let's get this X sample. I'm pretty sure that's one of the ones we need. Unable to sample from seeds or growth matrices. Please use active specimens for DNA sources. Huh. It won't let me take a sample from this one. I guess it needs to have grown a bit first. So I can pick them up, though. Of matrix. We just take a look. Here's the one that serves the O. Okay, check out the body. Nothing unusual found on the body central. Estimation on time of death? The climate control in the specimen lab is compromising your sensors. Ambient temperature is just above freezing. Right. Update. What is this issue? Dr. Baxter is certainly dead. <laughs> He's been decapitated. And not cleanly either. His head has been removed. More like destroyed. At a glance, this would be the most likely cause of death. What is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lao out. I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. I think he probably actually did it. <laughs> Nothing unusual found. What is your estimation of the incident? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lao out. I hope I can find... Huh. Genome data. You guys can I sample? For animal DNA. Okay, let's just take a look at this other room. Can I? No, I can't. I was gonna say, can I go into France? Warning, security clearance not valid for access to growth lab. 
Vickerman Pharmaceuticals thanks you for your cooperation. Hey, what? Pipes. He's a person of the worst living as a survival. Pull the battle of long-term stay birds in their roots. All right, all right. I won't touch them. Okay. Let's see if we can get access to that other room. Warning. Vickerman Farm. <laughs> She's walking all the way over to me. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. I can't get into the airlock. The airlock and the growth lab are secure areas. We grow potentially hazardous organisms beyond those doors. I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. Don't make me get a warrant from Central. I'm sorry, Central would likely agree with us. We can't just give anyone access to the growth lab. Not even a cell agent? I'd need a pretty damn good reason. Uh, I need to get to the samples. How about that? All right. Is well, that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. I'm going to wrap up this episode for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. Once again, you can, if you could like the video, that would be awesome. And subscribe on youtube.com slash Andrew Erdig. That's E-R-D-E-G. Check me out on Twitter at Andrew Erdig. You can find out when I post new videos and when I go live on twitch.tv slash Luckless Lovelocks. This is Luckless Lovelocks, signing off for now.